Hey everyone, Jim and Cindy here from Out of Pocket. Now that we have the roof rack installed on the van, we have another upgrade we're going to do. We're putting in Starlink because we do travel and pull a lot of places and we've got a big trip coming up where we need to have that internet connectivity and there's not going to be any. And the timing on this was great because Starlink just recently introduced the Starlink Mini antenna which is much smaller than the standard Starlink. It's kind of oriented toward people on the go. <laughs> Maybe if you're a Ooh, maybe if you're a hiker, I guess you can take this. Um, but it's also, we feel, a good fit for this van. Our roof rack is already pretty crowded. Um, so the Starlink Mini antenna, we hope, will be a great fit for this van. In addition to the small antenna, they also have a new plan now where you can pay $50 per month, but it, you can turn it on and off for the month, depending on if you're going to need it in the coming month or not. Right, because we like to take trips in our van, but we don't live in our van. So we won't need it all the time. That's right. So we're going to get this installed today, and the other thing we'll do in installing this is we're going to use um, a very good feature of this van, which is the roof access port. This is something they have built into the Solus Pocket that allows you to get cables or power, that sort of thing, from the roof down into the van, and they have some infrastructure there already. So we're going to check that out, which will be a total first for us. I can't wait to get Starlink so that we have great internet when we're it's on the road. It's going to be great fun. We hope. <laughs> okay, let's get it done and All check right. it out. Sounds great. We unboxed the Starlink, and I actually did put it out in the middle of the front lawn and set it up to make sure it works outside of the van before we go through the whole install. But the first issue we came across was this, is the power connectivity system that comes by default with the Starlink. This is 120 volt. We don't have 120 volt available in the Solus Pocket, as you know. You only have 120 volt with this van when you're plugged into shore power or in a generator or something like that. So this wasn't going to work. And this cable is like 50 feet long. So this is way more than we needed um, for the Starlink where the power goes in, goes in right there. So after doing some research, I found these three things that I'm hoping to use. This is a much shorter Starlink cable. And although this is a standard type of, I guess, 5.5 millimeter connector, or something like that, it has these little gaskets on it. So this one is made for Starlink. This one's much shorter, like six feet. And then this is your normal auto plug. And this has a 5.5 millimeter on the other end. I hope to plug this in the van, plug this into there, plug this into there, this into there, and that should give us the power we need from the 12 volt system. So that's the plan. Let's look in the van and take a look at where we can plug it in. This is a compartment where there is a receptacle for a 12 volt car power adapter. And that's where we're going to snake down because conveniently it's right next to the port where wiring and things can come down from the roof. So it's going to come down from there. We'll be able to put this right in to this receptacle. And if you can notice, I don't know if you can see it from there, but it's conveniently labeled 12 volt receptacle, 180 watt maximum, which is more than enough power to charge the Starlink. This Starlink mini antenna is 12 by 10, so it's about the same size as a laptop. The other antennas, the larger ones, I think are like 20 by 12 and maybe 24 by 12, so pretty large. Um, my plan for this antenna is we want to put it on the van next to the air conditioner in the back. We've already used up the front with extra solar panels, the main solar panels in the middle, so it has to be toward the back a little. I found this kit that's made by Stryker Fabrication, and it allows you to cradle the antenna like that, and then these attach into this as 8020. This is the same type of attachment system that our roof rack has. I ordered these extra bars from 8020, uh, .com. This is a slightly smaller size than on the roof rack, but I'm going to mount these onto the roof rack, mount the brackets onto these alongside the air conditioner, which would be like right here, and then the antenna should settle right in there, nice and solid when it's all tightened up. Here's the location we've selected to mount the Starlink antenna. It will be mounted alongside the air conditioner here, toward the front as much as possible. Although the you can see the box on the other side, that's where the roof access port is. So I'll have to bring a cable from here over to that roof access port. But the reason we wanted it on this side rather than that side 
was because that side is accessible by the ladder, and we want to put things over there that you have that you'll want to go up and get access on the roof, like skis or traction boards. We want to put on that side of the roof. So this makes sense. We have to put in the back because the front is now pretty much taken up with our solar panel upgrade. So the only real place to do it is alongside the air conditioner. My plan is to put it as far forward as we can to minimize the interference with the air conditioner or anything else or the roof rack. And I could mount these flush like this, which I think would be cleaner, but I want that little one inch of extra height. So I'm going to put these extra bars on top of the crossbars like that. The antenna will slide into these brackets, as you've seen, and I'll have to cut these right now to measure out the right length so they don't stick over the front. So that's what I'll do right now. <laughs> what happened to the teeth? That one's toast. Get them kind of roughly, roughly where we want them. Next, I'll get the T nuts in for these little corner brackets, which is what will hold it to the roof rack. Now I'm putting in the T nuts on this roof rack. There's only one slot, and it's on this side. I'll put in these nuts and slide them over. I have the bars up here now with the brackets kind of loosely inserted into them. I want to attach the back first, just kind of lightly, so that I can get everything adjusted. bars are roughly in place. I can still move them a little bit, so I'm going to take off the top of these four caps, cradles, so we can get the antenna placed and line everything up. And those will be the last things I put on at the end to secure the antenna. So here's the antenna. I want to place it so the power port is facing back. So when you're driving down the road, you're not trying to force weather into it. That's pretty close. Move it forward a little more. Look at that. Yeah, that's in there. Okay, so I'm going to tighten some things up then. Then I'll take it out and put the power cord in. Perfect. See it like seals right in there? Those little gaskets on this power cable. This is a special power cable for Starlink. You don't want to use one without that little seal, I don't think. Okay. Pretty good. And now these go back in on top. And then I'll have to tighten up the back at the end. It's pretty solid. Set for the front. Now, this is the cable I need to get through the roof access port. Unfortunately, it has kind of a big head on it because it also has those little ceiling gaskets. This is the roof access port. My understanding is you want to come in from the back side again because the weather will be coming this way. 
you don't want to be forcing water into it, so you want to come in. This six foot cable is plenty long enough, so that's the good news. So I'm going to measure this, kind of the widest hard part of this connector. And I get eh, 11.9 millimeters. So let me find a drill bit that's about that size. A half inch drill bit, that's the closest I could get. It's slightly larger, but the 3 8 was too small, so here goes nothing. I put it in the middle or to one side and leave room for something else later, maybe to the side a little. All right. That's it. We have a hole. Let's go feed it to the inside and see if we can get it connected. Time to uncover the cap that leads to the outside. Phillips head screwdriver. Ooh. I think I'm just going to leave that there. There, that's a good enough hole. Grab it. All right, here it is. All right. Oh. Woohoo! Well, that worked well. Yeah. So I took it all the way out because this part just pops right out. Huh. And I'll put it over the top. All set. Looks good. Okay, plug, plug it in. Plug it in. moment of truth. So we have power. Okay, you have a red light? have a red light. Perfect. Okay, let's give it a few minutes and or 20 seconds and let's see if we have Starlink. Okay, do you see the Wi-Fi? I do. I named it, guess what? Out of pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Still looking. Satellites. We do have some trees, but... Connected! No, really? Yes. I'm in! We're in! <laughs> okay! I can't believe it. That's this awesome. so fun. Alright, let's seal up the hole on the top, and this project will be a wrap. That's it. The last thing to do, actually two things left, I have to seal yeah. up this hole now, and then secure this cable, maybe to this crossbar, so it doesn't flap around or pull off either end, so... This is the same sealant I used when we had the issue mounting the roof rack. We still have some left. It hasn't hardened yet. So, I guess I'll just kind of goop it up. Let that dry. Should do it. To secure the cable right near the port, I have these little things from another project. They like stick on and use a zip tie. I'm going to put one here. Make sure I clean it really well so the stuff will hopefully hold on. And then I'll probably secure the rest of the cable to the crossbar with a zip tie. Okay, that's good and clean now. Now it won't put undue pressure on this end. Yeah. Good. I'm going to put one more of those over here. There's actually a little scratch on top. I'm going to cover it up. Um, just to make sure the cable doesn't wiggle off going down the highway. I can hear it. It's making noise in there. It's probably trying to figure out why I'm blocking it. We're good. What a great project. It came together just fine. It, no, nothing unforeseen. It came together just the way it was supposed to. Using the, those brackets from the striker fabrication, that was a great way to put it flat on the roof rack. Yes. And? Yeah, and feeding it through into the pocket, through that port, 
was very smooth and surprisingly simple. Yep, very simple. So excited now that we have internet available when we travel. Yeah. And what's this? It's um, it's our upgrades video. So there we go. Playing we'll through Starlink. Well, exactly. Yep, excellent. I'm very excited. Excellent. So you, the video looks smooth and looks like it's connected just fine. Yeah. What a great upgrade. Well, nice work on this one. Really happy with it. Hopefully you enjoyed watching the video. And as always, if this is of any use to you, if you enjoy it, please feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you, and Thanks. we'll see you next time. See you next time.